I'm originally from Prince Albert, but we moved to Bird Shores before my first birthday, and I've been attending Wake Park ever since. I am adopted and have been with my mom and dad since the day I was born. You may ask yourself, is he going to tell us his testimony? Want to answer that? Unfortunately not. <laughs> I'm only 14 years old and haven't even gone to high school yet. But I'm going to talk about how I got here, why I wanted to get baptized today, and why I became a Christian. Let's begin, shall we? It was May 2020 when I was 11 and a half years old. And Pastor Brian was still running club DJ in children's church. I had the most memorizations that year, and he gave me a special kids' Bible before he left. It was called the High Dominion Heart Bible. Let's sit right here. When Pastor Brian gave me the Bible, he wrote a note for me in the first page that read Dear Mason, I'm so glad you can hide God's word in your heart. May the Lord bless you and keep you on his path. I am so thankful to know you and will not forget you. May God always be a God and your friend. Lesson the Bible God, Brian. I was crying when I read that message. This was the beginning of how the idea of baptism got into my mind. When you open the Bible, there was a page saying this, I, blank, it was for my name, have this day, blank, the date, accepted the Lord Jesus Christ to be in my heart. Then it said blank, baptism day, and the Bible verse for baptism, which I need to choose. It was in May 2020 that the idea of baptism caught my attention, but I have forgotten about this as I had since I got to the new grown up Bible and had this kid's one on my shelf. Until about a month ago, when I looked back at my old Bible and saw the message about baptism. But at that day, I knew in my heart I wanted to get baptized. But before that, I'm going to talk about some other stuff. I'm going to talk about every kid's day part of summer Bible camp. The first one I went was 2018, and I went to Stony Lake. I sure had good times there. I'll tell you a little summary about camp. First, the campers go and meet in our cabins to introduce ourselves. After a big horn goes off, we go to the chapel time. After that, we sing songs. My favorite songs are My Lighthouse, Furious, This I Believe, and I'll Come to the Altar. That was sung. They are so uplifted, and I feel really connected to God when we, when we worship. After we sing songs, the cabin leader introduces herself, and so does the camp pastor. After the chapel service, there is lunch. After lunch, we participate in three activities we choose there, and there is really something for everyone. This year, I chose water sports, of course, who doesn't like tubing. Pet and barn, to pet and care for all the farm animals there and kayaking. I forgot to tell you, we also get to have a break and we go to the canteen to pick out our snacks. We have supper with our memorization group, we get random new sign too. It is very fun to meet new people. After supper, we go back to the chapel to do a wide game outside. My absolute favorite is Kiss Me Dear, which the boys always win. <laughs> Sometimes we get to have a night swim in the lake too. After the evening chapel service, we go back to our cabins and talk about what we have learned. Camp played a big part in deciding I want to be a Christian. I remember during one of my first times at Stony, the leader encouraged all the campers to accept Jesus in their hearts. We bowed our heads and repeated the words she said, I, my name, accepted Jesus in my heart, and afterwards we said a prayer together. After that, I knew I believed. I wanted to go to church all the time. I wanted to go to the club DJ and use every week. That is the one clear memory where I knew at the moment it was the time I became a Christian and truly accepted Jesus in my heart. Now I'm going to talk about my experience at the soup kitchen. 
This past winter, I went to St. Albert's Church to serve food and visit the homeless people in Prince Albert. At first, I did not want to go because I was actually very nervous about the homeless people. When I, when I went, it turned out it was actually pretty fun because my auntie, my mom, and my sister all went together most of the weeks. After I went for two to three weeks, I got used to seeing the people and serving them. That's when I knew I wanted to keep on doing this until the season ended. God has given me a heart to serve and help others in need. Man, this is a lot of talk. <laughs> <laughs> choose a Bible verse of baptism, when I answer that, I have chosen it. If you have your Bibles with you, can you turn to Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 to 28, or you can just listen to me speak. <laughs> so in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself in Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Finally, I'd like to leave you off with some, with some words of, of encouragement. Continue to read the Bible, continue to pray, continue to be with Jesus and follow him. And if you're kids, I would say to ask your parents to send you to camp. Please pray for me and my faith journey, and that I stay on the right track. I would like to thank everyone for coming out today and celebrating Peyton, Liam, and I getting baptized. And hey, I just realized, I did write my testimony. I guess I had more to talk than I thought. <laughs> Anyways, thank you everyone, and have a blessed day.